Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell, and welcome to another year of my videos. That's the best I got. Anyway, I'm really glad it's 2016. 2015, for the most part, ik poo. Ugh. Take it away. Let's just say it never really happened. Of course, we do still have Trump, so I guess 2016 is going to be a mess for a while anyway. So, how did I bring in the new year? We'll, we'll start with that. I brought in the new year a couple of different ways. One, I was in a panic. I was in a panic because my computer didn't work. Uh, when I went to my mother's for Christmas, my computer, I turned it off for the first time in over a year. And when I got back, it didn't want to come on. And so I freaked for a few days, and then I called the repair people. And when I was waiting for a response back from them, I pushed the button one more time, and the thing started. That's just how it used to be. If you remember as a kid, you'd be sick until your mother told you you were going to the doctor, and then all of a sudden you started feeling better. That's what happened to my computer. So there was that. Uh, I spent New Year's Eve by myself. My wife's out of town. I didn't go visit my mother for New Year's Eve. Come on. How often can you go visit your mom, right? And she lives out of town. So basically, I did my normal thing until about 10 minutes to midnight when I turned on the TV, watched the ball drop, and that was that. Then the next day, I went to my very first ever New Year's Day brunch over at someone's house. And my friend Kelvin and I, we went into the city. Uh, I drove on a very icy, snowy day. <laughs> um, I can say, at least to this point, that it has snowed every single day in 2016 in the Syracuse, New York area. Of course, by the time this video goes live, um, most probably the snow will stop for a couple of days, and then I won't be able to say that anymore. Anyway, we went out there in a snowy, icy day. We had a pretty good time. I found very little I would eat because I tend to be kind of particular, except for this homemade cinnamon bun thing was this thick, coated with this icing that someone said wasn't going to be too sweet, which made me think, okay, this isn't going to taste good at all. It was absolutely wonderful. It was too wonderful. It was so wonderful that when I got home, I had to take myself to bed um, and sleep for a couple of hours just to try to wind some of that off. Anyway, after that, then I went to see the Star Wars movie. And this is a big deal for me because I went twice. If I pay to go see a movie twice, that means I liked it. And before I get too much into, you know, just saying what I liked about the movie, I just want to say that it's incredible how many people there are who said that they don't like it. Now, it's not really tons of people because it's got a 93% favorable rating on Rotten Tomatoes. But there's all these people who are saying, oh, well, they didn't tell us this, they didn't tell us this, they didn't tell us this. And I'm thinking, you're not supposed to be told everything. That's not how this works. They didn't tell you everything from the first, you know, three movies, four, five, and six. Um, one, two, and three were supposed to kind of explain certain things. But even then, that very first one that had Jar Jar Binks, okay, even that first one, didn't really tell us anything. I mean, for all we know, truthfully, we really don't know what the Force is. We really don't know what the dark side is. We don't know what a Sith is. <laughs> I mean, you know, come on. I don't. I still don't know. And I've been watching these things since the 70s. I have read some books, but, you know, I'm not one of those fanboys who reads all of those things. So I really don't understand a lot of that backstory. You know what? I don't care. Because I don't go to movies to pick up all that stuff. If I want all that stuff, I will read the books. That's what I did with Harry Potter. If you watch all eight of the Harry Potter movies, which I love, by the way, yeah, I'm a big kid, you will not have any real idea of what's going on until you read the books. There's a young lady who was surprised to find out that Dobby shows up in more than one book because he basically only shows up in two movies. So she was totally thrown off by that. And they changed stuff around. So, I mean, that's just how that is. So, anyhow, let's talk about this movie. I gotta tell you, this was a breath of fresh air. I loved every single character and every single person who played every single character, except the guy who played Kylo Ren. I don't know why I'm not enamored with this guy. I, I, I just don't know why. Um, I, I could say maybe because he looks too young, but I can't say that. I, I really don't know what it is about him. Um, but that's not really the kind of guy who I would have thought they would have put in that. 
Um, but then again, if he's supposed to be the son of Han Solo and, you know, Leia, I guess that's pretty much how he had to look. I don't know. I mean, y'all tell me. Maybe I'm kind of wrong. I just thought he would look a little harder and a little bit meaner. And he looks like a kid. Of course, I'm 56 years old, so a lot of people look like kids to me at this point. Um, I love the young lady who played Ray. I mean, my God. I mean, she's just the cutest thing. I mean, how do you not like her? And there's some people who gripe saying, well, she's too good at everything. I'm sorry. So she's good at stuff. Please. I mean, it's, it's a fantasy movie. I like the guy who played Finn. I, like I said, I liked everybody. But I thought that those two really did a wonderful job in this movie. I loved having Chewbacca, I mean, be more than just Chewbacca. Usually he's just kind of that guy, you know, the Wookiee kind of standing in a corner. He's just there. But they actually showed him, uh, you know, having that real emotion and start shooting things up or whatever. And I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the humor. I enjoyed the, the throwbacks to things that were, you know, from previous movies way back, you know, in the day. I, there was nothing wrong with this movie. I, you know, I can't say perfect because I don't know if there is such a thing as a perfect movie. But I thoroughly enjoyed this. This is a lot of fun. And like I said, I'm not giving away any spoilers. Although, I usually go by my thing where if a movie's been out you know, for almost a month and you haven't seen it, then it's your fault if suddenly there's spoilers. But this one hasn't been out for a month. And truthfully, you know what? I'd have to dig way too far <laughs> into it so that I could even offer a spoiler. I will say this, that the first time I saw the movie, I wasn't looking for all those things that a lot of people talked about later on. The second time, I actually understood it better. I understood some of the things that happened, some of the flashbacks that they showed. I then started understanding, okay, and you know what? I got to admit, the first time I had to go to the bathroom three times. You know, uh, the second time I decided not to buy the very large soda. I just can't handle it like I used to be able to. So those are the days. I also got less popcorn. The first time I got a really big popcorn that I barely ate. The second time I got a small popcorn that I barely ate. That's just life. You know, I wish I could eat popcorn. I wish I could eat all that stuff like I used to be able to. I just can't. Uh, you know, that's just how that is. So I'm a big kid in an old guy's body. Boy, that's pathetic, isn't it? Anyway, first video of this year. And you know what? If you know when the Star Wars Force Awakens came out, then you know what year. Otherwise, I don't have to tell the year. You don't care anyway. Still, I wanted to tell you real quick that I hope to be doing more videos this year. Um, I'm going to shoot for definitely try to keep at least one video a week going. I may have two every once in a while. I'm still going to be shooting for more interviews of people who I think are fascinating or have something fascinating to talk about because I love the interviews. And, you know, we'll see where we go from there. So like I said, I'm Mitch Mitchell. I'm back. Some of you don't care. Some of you are going to say, whoa, great, we got a new video. And some of you are going to say, this guy liked that Star Wars movie. I hate him. Hey, such is life. Y'all take care, and let's make this a wonderful 2016.